Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. Travel is tough going for many of us across the valley. Here's another look at our Luther Family Ford Skycam Network. Believe it or not, I did move the camera and you still can't see anything, but here's that Luther sign in the parking lot. But it is not good for travelers. In fact, the westbound lane of I-94 is closed from West Fargo to Castleton due to a traffic incident. If you're headed in that direction anytime soon, the westbound traffic is being rerouted around Mapleton, and this is until further notice, so keep an eye on those travel maps. Anywhere you see the red shading, the red and white hatched, that's where we're seeing no travel advice. We did show this earlier in the show, but I wanted to show it again because we're seeing uh, these major cities being impacted, including Fargo, West Fargo, out towards Valley City, down into Ellendale and Wapaton. Here's your satellite and radar again, where we're seeing some moderate to heavy snow throughout portions of the valley, especially right along I-94 and into portions of Highway 10, right cutting through the Central Valley from around Jamestown, Castle, uh, Castleton, just south of Fargo, but that is inching ever so slightly to the north, all the way up towards Holly as well. So if you do have to travel, check your travel maps, check your Valley News Live weather app for the latest conditions down to your exact location. In addition to snow, we're dealing with gusty winds right where that snow is falling as well. We have a recent gust to 41 miles per hour here in Fargo with that heavy snow, and that's leading to very poor visibility right around a quarter mile in Fargo, Jamestown and in Oaks as well. One mile is the visibility in Devil's Lake and Grand Forks. Showing how poor that visibility th is, this is the Fargo tri-level. Of course, we've got a little bit of ice on the camera itself, but you really cannot see that far out. So we are advising just to stay home um, unless you absolutely must travel and take caution. A few more snowfall reports that have been coming in. Victor, South Dakota, 11 inches of snowfall just since this started up last night. Ellendale and Hecla, South Dakota, 8 inches. Again, that's 7.6 in Hankinson, 7 in Lidgerwood. Sisseton picking up 6.5. Breckenridge, a more recent report, 4.8 inches. Wolverton, Minnesota, 3.3 and 2.5 in Battle Lake, Minnesota. If you've got snowfall reports to share, send them our way, whether it be email or social media messages. Again, we've got that blizzard warning that just came out uh, right before the top of the hour for these areas highlighted in bright pink. That includes Cass and Clay counties out towards the Valley City area and down to the North Dakota, South Dakota border. Winter storm warning for those areas in red. All important hour by hour forecast. This snow is going to continue through the rest of this afternoon, the heaviest of which we're still expecting along and south of I-94 U.S. Highway 10 in Minnesota. But that doesn't mean that anywhere north of there won't see heavy snow because it is a possibility as this gradually shifts to the north. Then we can take a little breather tonight as the snow kind of tapers off, but the wind does not taper off. It's going to remain breezy through this evening. This is dinner time that we have this paused here and look at our temperatures falling below zero. It's going to be a cold one, but at least we can maybe appreciate the break in the snowfall late tonight and through some of the overnight hours, but we're not done yet. So don't hold your breath because by tomorrow morning towards commute time, that second wave of snow pushing back up, impacting the same region that's being impacted the worst so far this morning. So more travel difficulties expected for your Tuesday morning, in addition to more wind and sub zero temperatures before the snow finally tapers off by Tuesday evening. As for snowfall, this is what we're looking at for additional snowfall amounts. I'll step out of the way so you can pinpoint your location real quick. Still more snow on the way and behind that, we're still going to be darn right cold. We're going to stay sub zero until we finally start to moderate our temperatures a little bit by Friday, JC. Eyes on the prize of the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish I had better news. I've just been bringing such a horrible weather news all weekend. It's just continuing into the week, but you've got to look at the bright side. The weekend's looking a little better. It is the season. <laughs> Thank you, Summer.